that you were nominated for the Wall Street Manager. What does that mean to you? And uh, what's your kind of philosophy toward you know, the things you do all the time? No, it means a lot. Um, first and foremost, uh, it's a blessing um, to be able to be uh, nominated for such a prestigious award. Um, I believe it's truly a lot of my teammates that, you know, go out in the community and uh, does such a great job that, uh, in my opinion, can be nominated as well. Um, so I, I'm just appreciative that the organization uh, nominated me for it. Um, but I think it, that, that, that comes with uh, being a football player. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, see us on Sunday and, you know, we're, we're playing a game that we love, you know, um, making plays, making tackles, touchdowns and all that stuff. But uh, most importantly, it's, it's the people that's looking up to you that you know that um, you may be, you know, a kid's role model. Uh, you know, you got to go out and, you know, help those that's in need. Um, you know, I think that's that's our responsibility as, as football players. Uh, it's not only just to play on Sundays, but to go out there in our communities and and uh, you know be be that hero for everybody. So, uh, you know, that's my philosophy on you know what it means to be in the community and, and actually uh, be present there. Is that something that you prioritized when you first came into the NFL, mm -hmm. uh, saying that? I, I want to do this for my community, whatever organization it was with. Yeah. If, if not, like, how did that come about for you? You know, <clears throat> we all we all have been kids before, um, or been in a position where you know uh, we may need help or whatever, and uh, you know, being somebody's favorite athlete, uh, how cool would it be if you actually see them like in your community? Um, you actually see uh, them, you know, getting their hands dirty, helping out wherever their uh, need be. Uh, I think that is pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. And uh, like I said, it's a bunch of great guys in our locker room that that, that does that day in, day out. And um, some stuff goes unnoticed, but you know, guys are always, always helping out. And I, I just think that's just a philosophy for for our whole team. Um, uh, I think uh, Morgan uh, does a good job of getting guys together to go on uh, uh, community trips. Guys always bringing up ideas to. Uh, you know, go to this community or, or you know, go help this uh, organization. So it's, it's a team effort. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I just happen to be the one to get nominated. But, you know, a lot of my teammates, uh, they do uh, some of the same things I do. So um, I think it's just, you know, trying to just make everybody better, uh, trying to, you know, think about somebody else other than yourself. And like I said, it's just, you know, myself and my teammates, we, we, we do the same things when it comes to that. When, when did you find out? Uh, man, it's, it's a video that got my my reaction. Uh, man, I was I was surprised. You know, I didn't I didn't think I was was up for the, uh, being a nominee, but uh, I found out a couple weeks ago, and uh, my family, you know, they was all there uh, to support. Which I thought that I was going to another community event, and next thing you know, I see this huge picture of uh, myself when I was in high school, and I'm like, why am I? Why is it a picture of, of me at high school? And then uh, I look over and I see my whole family, and uh, and I, I was speechless for for a while. And uh, you know, it's, it's just truly an honor, truly an honor. What was the reaction from your family when you guys had a chance to kind of sit and talk through that? I mean, yeah. the different emotion for them, mm -hmm. one to make it to the NFL, but then two to have that platform to be able to do what you are doing mm -hmm. um, in the community. How cool is that for them? It was cool. Uh, you know, my mom, she was she was uh, super proud, you know, uh, just because, you know, what we've been through as a family, uh, you know, my dad, who's uh, who's no longer living, just the things that he instilled in me and uh, what what we've uh, accomplished from, you know, me making it to the NFL, but also just uh, lending out a helping hand. That's what I was raised upon. Uh, my dad was a pastor, so like I always saw him like work, work with people. Um, you know, take his time to really hear somebody out or help uh, when they need help. And I, as a young kid, just seeing that, I mean, that inspired me. And uh, so I think, like, when you, my mom, my fiance, my kids, we all just sat down. We just soaking it all in. And, uh, and there's more work to be done. So, you know, it was just a, it was a good time to enjoy my family, a uh, good time to enjoy uh, with the owners, uh, everyone. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was a good day for us. Balance between football and off the field. Yeah. I mean, you, you choose to go to cities. I mean, you chose to come here. Mm -hmm. 
in what you've invested the last two years? What is it that you've seen um, in the in the community? Uh man, uh, Houston is a special place. I think that um, you know the, the organization does a great job of you know making sure um, that in the community is doing work, and not just you know talking about it or you know just you know saying they're going to do something just to you know say they did it. But it's more so like you know people here really care, and uh, you know I, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that. Like I said, you know my teammates. You know, they're always coming up with ideas of, of different initiatives or, you know, different uh, organizations and groups to help out. So, you know, I think that we, we built something special here, and I think that we have the right people in the building and I like people in the building to where, like, you know, we, we are professional athletes, but we're good people. And uh, I think that when you, when you you know, build a team around that, you're going to have guys in the community all the time. Uh, I mean, it just comes with it. So, um, you know, like I, I chose to, to come back. And uh, that's one of the reasons why, because, you know, I see the things that we're doing. I see the type of men that we have in this in this locker room. And uh, like I said, it's it's not just me that's deserving of this award. It's, it's I can name a bunch of people uh, that can be standing here in my place right now. Um, like I said, it just happened to be me. You've done a lot of stuff in the community, but can you talk about just visiting Uvalde and, and the impact that that had and just back in camp when you guys were wanting to raise money for them mm -hmm. to actually going out there and, and meeting those? So, uh, you know, that's a that's an experience that I'm, I'm going to forever be grateful to have the opportunity um, to, to, to make that trip. And uh, Roland, our our head uh, trainer, um, that's home for him. So uh, to be able to experience that, I always tell him thank you for just allowing me to go back, you know, um, to his hometown and such a, a vital part of these young men's lives um, that was affected that uh, was a part of that football team I got a chance to meet. Um, it was one of those experiences where uh, it's very humbling. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where you had to be there to really understand it and really feel like what was going on. Um, but I'm just appreciative that I was able to, to, to go and uh, be somewhat of a mentor uh, to the guys. You know, it's I can't imagine being in that situation you know, where something as bad as that happened. Um, I'm a parent myself, and when you have kids that's involved, and you know, I can I can't imagine being a parent having to you know pick up a phone call or uh, go to the school and, and you know not have your kid um, there by your side. You know, it's it's something I can't imagine. So um, you know, I, I just was taking it all in and. And just you know, being wherever I needed to be uh, for for them, um, you know, it, it was definitely a humbling experience. When uh, just last one, sure. whenever something terrible like that happens, it, it's it's kind of easy for uh, many to find something relatable to that that you want to support and, and help as much as you can. Mm -hmm. But in the community, particularly, is there something that? an organization or particular part of the community that has just kind of grabbed you that you feel, um, you know, I, I guess that you just want to continue a relationship with? Yeah, I mean, I'll continue the relationship uh, with just, you know, reaching out when I can or uh, letting them understand that I, I, I know what it what it feels like to, to lose someone. I, I have, you know, obviously uh, not to that to that um, degree, but I lost my father when I was 17, and you know, you know, around the same age as you know those those kids, um, so I can relate in the loss, you know, and uh, I didn't lose it to you know violence or whatever, but you know, loss is a loss, so I can you know be there for them and let them understand that you know it does get better. Um, you know, it's better days ahead, but it's okay to, to, to have your emotions come out and it's okay to not understand your emotions. Um, so for me, I just wanted to be uh, of a role model where you know, they can sit and, and be real with me and talk to me about whatever they're feeling because I've been, you know, in their shoes uh, with, with taking a loss from somebody that's close to you. So, you know, I definitely can understand um, just being a young man. You know, you have some some questions that you know you may not get answered, but uh, if I can be a help in any source, you know that's that's what I want to be. So, um, 
you know, that's, that's, that's something that's special to me whenever you know, I can help a young man, uh, you know, going through life. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Before you go, we got the bell to take a quick picture. This is the, this is the jerseys we gave Dan. You know, and we made one for him. That's why he's here. Is this your first time seeing us? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw the jersey, but it's my first time seeing the frame and everything. It's pretty cool. Coach Miller and the Shaquille and Captain Kane when we told them he was the man of the year and they gave him the jersey. Very good. Get a good one, Zach. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, in your transition back to corner this year, how has it been uh, the second time around from last season to this and just in the last couple of games getting back in that role? Um, it's good. It's good. I mean, I feel I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do out there for the team, and um, I just got to continue doing that. You kind of noticed you've been here a while now, two years. You're out of the building. Talk with people around the city. You know, it's a little bit different when the Cowboys come up as far as playing that team. Um, Just like the magnitude around town. I'm not too familiar with the Dallas Houston relationship. Uh, I'm not from here, so. <laughs> but I, I have like heard people talk about like the game Battle of Texas, I guess, or something like that. Um, not really sure what the what the rivalry is about or whatever it is, but. Um, to me, it's just going to be it's another game that we got to go in um, with the goal to win. What did you, what did you take from, from last game? What did you feel like, I guess, the defense in particular took from last game? Can you say that again? What did you feel like the defense in particular learned from last game? Um, as far as what? I guess you, all, from, you go from Miami to, you know, you know how you all did. Yeah, I mean, defensive-wise, you look at it, I felt like we played a very solid game. This last game, I mean, it's not really much you could not see. I mean, we played great on defense. We got turnovers. Um, we did what we had to do. I mean, just got to find a way to score, I guess, on defense. That's that's definitely, I think, one of our goals, um, as Levy would say, is when we take the ball away, we need to score with it. Because when you think of the matchup with Dak Prescott, C. Lamb, the passing game they have? Um, they're electric. I mean, they're... They're hitting on all cylinders. You know, you got Dak Prescott, and they got some really good receivers that's over there. So, you know, they're going to do what they got to do to <clears throat> to win as well. You know, they got two great backs, Zeke and Pollard. Um, so, you know, it's going to be definitely um, a challenge for sure, just like any other team. Do you sense progress on the defense? Nobody was talking about the defense like in recent weeks. Things are going to look better. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. We see progress each and every week. Um, we like to set goals for ourselves individually and as a team. So um, that's what that's what we want to do so we can have, uh, go ahead and just accomplish those each week. What are your, what are your goals individually? Um, for me, I would just say making sure that I'm doing my part of the, of the job, you know what I'm saying, like as a returner, as a cornerback. Um, you know, a guy on the defensive side that, that does a lot of communication, like that's my job is to make sure we we plan together out there and make sure the energy is out there on the field. So that's that's what I take pride in, you know, and I feel like that's something that I just got to keep staying up on top of as I play. Organization nominated Christian for the Walsh Bay Man Year Award. What's it like having him as a teammate, just kind of what you know about him as a person? Uh, yeah, I, man, I've been around Christian for so long now. Uh he was actually a senior in college when I was a freshman at Iowa. So I've been around Christian. Um, very great person, um, very selfless. Um, he cares about everyone that's around him. Um, definitely a leader. Uh, and and I, I, I congratulate him for being nominated for that award. Um, he definitely is the epitome of, you know, being a community guy. And, like, that's something that's definitely stood out for him um, since I've met him. As your role has increased on defense and the cornerback role, obviously you're involved in the return <clears> game. How has Frank Ross approached that with you? I mean, y'all kind of rotated yeah. around in that. What's been kind of the communication there about that? Um, just you know, um, whenever he he, he sensed that I need like a break or something like that, you know, he he finds a guy that can go in and, and help. So um, with that, like I said, my job is to 
do my job on defense and also do my job in the special teams area. So whenever I have a chance to do that, you know, I got to make sure I do it at 110% full speed. Reviewing the fumble, what are your thoughts on it? Oh, it happens. It happens. I mean, it was a great, great form tackle that the guy had on me. Um, the ball just came out like everybody, you know, it happens. So I can't just let that affect my next play. All set. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Just starter that you feel like your play has improved. Does playing more and playing at the start of the game feel like that helps you to kind of be able to get in a rhythm? Um, I, I mean, I would say so. Not not too much. Uh, I'm just trying to make the most out of the opportunities being given to me. How do you feel like you're playing right now? I feel like I'm playing good. I feel like I can be playing better. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna just keep trying to improve. When it comes to the run, how how have you been kind of approaching that and? New scheme this year. Uh, it seems Sunday you were setting edges, getting push. I mean, what have you seen from yourself this year in this game? Uh, I think run game is all the mentality, you know. So I just try to play as physical as possible. What some of the challenges you've seen out of this Cowboys offense? Uh, I mean, they got a lot of good receivers. Um, they have a good quarterback. Have a good O line, you know. Um, they're they're a good team. So getting that first sack, obviously you, you've been chasing all year trying to get that. What was that feeling like to? It felt good. I'm just uh, ready to get some more. And you've had several quarterback hits in the past four weeks. I mean, in terms of pressure, what's kind of the goal there? Um, this week? Um, just in general from your position. Oh, yeah, just to make sure the quarterback is as, un as uncomfortable as possible. So. Did, was there an Did it seem like that was a fumble earlier that Jerry brought that back? I mean, what's kind of your review on that? I mean, it's over now, but, you know, I wanted it to be a fumble, so. <laughs> you get the sentiment in the locker room after the game the other day was from the defense, kind of like you guys felt like you should have done more and should have been able to put points on the board and things like that. Going back and reviewing the film, I mean, you talk about the, the positives that, that you guys were able to take away. Um, Given up a lot of touchdowns uh, over the course of the last few weeks. I mean, you have to feel pretty good about that, right? Yeah, there's a lot of positives. You know, we see uh, that we're, we're defensive, we're trending in the right direction. You know, um, we're starting to play more as a unit. Um, so that, that, that's positives. But of course, we want to take the ball away more uh, in the game, uh, try to score, you know, try to just put some points on the board as a defense. So. You see the Cowboys' offensive line. What do you see? Um, I see uh, athletic guys. Uh, I, I've looked more at the tackles than anything. Um, I, just, I see uh, the rookies playing really well, um, and then the other guy, he's he's pretty good also. All set. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys.